The clock is ticking, people. March 26th is coming, and that is the last day that you can add points to your Wii Shop account. If you don't have any points in your account after that day, that means some of the console's best games will be unavailable to you forever. I've been highlighting my favorite shop exclusives, and I've still got a few more suggestions for you. So let's take a look at art style Rotozoa. Rotozoa was released in 2010 for the Wii Shop and is one of five in a string of games that focus on simple gameplay concepts with intuitive pick-up-and-play controls called the Art Style series. There's no story or characters in Rotozoa, and the strength of the game relies solely on its gameplay. The setting is a primordial slime, and you are a microscopic organism called a Rotozoan. The Rotozoan has two or more colored tentacles, depending on the level you select. The goal of each is to increase the length of your tentacles to a certain size by absorbing other organisms called goo bugs. To do this, you move through the ooze and collect goo bugs that are the same color as that specific tentacle. The D-pad will move your rotozoan, and the 1 and 2 buttons will rotate your tendrils clockwise and counterclockwise. Sounds easy enough, but if you touch, let's say, a red goo bug with a yellow colored tentacle, that tentacle will fall off from where it was hit, you'll take damage, and you'll have to start the growing process all over again. Get hit by a mismatched goo bug 10 times and you'll fail the stage. As you progress, you'll get more tentacles, which makes managing to work with them a bit more difficult, since there are now more colored goo bugs in play, giving more opportunities to run into the wrong color. But the game is never overwhelming. There are a few things that can help your Rotozoan's journey to increase its size. Once per level, you get a special Cyclone attack. When you get this item, you can hold down the Rotate button and charge up a huge attack that will absorb any goo bug it touches, regardless of what color it is. After it's finished, your tentacles will grow depending on how many you absorbed. You'll also find some heart drops that will revitalize your health if you've been hit. Each level will have extra challenges aside from collecting the necessary amount of goo bugs. Complete a stage without taking damage, without using the Cyclone ability, or trying to break a personal speed record. 100%ing every stage is a nice challenge for those looking for it. Rotozoa is not the longest game to beat, but there are other modes to keep you coming back for more. An endless mode, where you must survive wave after wave of goo bugs as your tentacles reach massive proportions, with the goal being to try and get the highest score. This was one of my favorite modes because your tentacles could end up taking up the entire screen. It's very similar to playing a game of Snake. And lo and behold, there's also a Snake mode, which is similar to Endless. But in this mode, you only have one tentacle, and you can destroy goo bugs too. These extra modes give it replayability, as well as a competitive scenario for multiple players. I do find it pretty ironic that the game series is called Art Style, because while serviceable, the actual art style and graphics aren't much to write home about. But that's okay, because again, that's not the focus here. Rotozoa is similar to older arcade games like Asteroids. The gameplay is engaging enough to keep you wanting more, and you don't need extravagant graphics because they look appropriate. So while nothing fancy, the visuals do the job. The soundtrack, however, is better suited to the game. It's atmospheric with a lot of songs that give you the feeling of floating through water. The emphasis on the drums really drives home a primitive vibe, almost as though it's a song a caveman would be listening to. The true strength of Rotozoa lies in how easy it is for players of any skill level to jump right in and understand the core concept within a few minutes of playing, which again harkens back to old school arcade games. It's both relaxing and challenging depending on the way you want to play it. It's certainly a good time. Not all games need to have a massive open world, an in-depth story, or even characters to be a good time. Sometimes the best games have none of these. Rotozoa takes video games and boils it down to its purest form simple and addictive gameplay. So with the March deadline rapidly approaching to add points to your account, make sure to pick up Rotozoa before it's too late. Thanks for watching guys! Are there any games you'd suggest buying from the Wii Shop before it closes down? Let me know down in the comments below! I'll see you next time and remember, it's all fun and games! Thanks for watching everyone! If you liked that video, make sure to check out my review of the latest and greatest Dragon Ball Z game, Dragon Ball Fighters. And if you like it's all fun and games, make sure to subscribe. Thanks again.